Steve K2GOG here. I've been banished down to the kitchen to keep my voice down and not uh, wake up the family since it is 11.20 p.m. September 22nd. So tonight I'm going to show you how to get a SDR play working with SDR Angel software. And then I'm going to show you how you can tune to multiple frequencies at the same time and monitor different communications. So let's get started. I'll do my screen share. There we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna to need to do is go to the SDR Play website, go to downloads. So sdrplay.com slash downloads, whichever model SDR Play that you have. In my case, I'm using an old RSP model one. So go ahead and select that, find your operating system and I'm gonna suggest uh, Windows 10, hit next. And we're gonna to need to download one thing and install it. Do not plug in your software-defined radio to your computer as of yet. If it is, please disconnect it. So go ahead, click on API, and you're going to click this select, and then the download button, download it and install it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to find SDR Angel, so you can type in uh, SDR Angel releases. So this will bring you to GitHub. Click on that, your screen's gonna look like this. And uh, as of today, Edward is up to version 6.16.5. And since we're on Windows 10, you're going to click the executable here, it'll download and then install it. Now, uh, this is cross-platform software. It's gonna work fine on uh, Linux. It's gonna work fine on Windows. It will work fine on Apple. Uh, I like the Windows version because if you need to upgrade to a new version, it's very easy. You can uninstall the old and reinstall the new, or you could even have multiple versions running if you'd like. Um, but if you are a fan of Linux, just be prepared. Uh, the instructions are a little bit more complicated. You need to do some dependencies and wait for things to compile. And if you're impatient and you want to get going, Windows 10 is definitely the better environment. So go ahead and uh, install that. So now that you have both the SDR Play API drivers installed as well as SDR Angel, go ahead, plug in your SDR Play to your computer, and then go ahead and find uh, SDR Angel wherever you installed it and click it to run. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is um, some pre-configuration. Go up here to the upper left, to the two little arrows, and this is where you're gonna select your software-defined radio. You should see SDR Play version three, which is their driver. So go ahead and look for something similar to this and hit okay. And now we're gonna just gonna do some pre-configuration. So uh, for this demonstration, we're gonna show you how to monitor multiple frequencies on the amateur radio 75 and 80 meter band. And then we're going to show how you can do this on other frequencies. So let's do some pre-configuration. First thing I'm gonna do is tune to a center frequency of 3600 kilohertz or 3.6 megahertz. So you can click in and uh, select it you can mouse over it, and then you can use your up and down arrows on your keyboard, like so. You can move it left and right. So I'm gonna tune to 3.6. Next thing we're gonna do is click this box, automatic DC offset control. We're gonna make it so it's orange, and that's gonna remove this, and I'll show what that looks like in a little bit. As to why, we're then going to change the bandwidth to 1536 kilohertz. You have a couple options, but we're gonna select 1536. You're then going to change your sample rate to nine. And again, this is configured for a SDR play. You can play with these functions to do what you want, but I'm just walking you through this now. Um, you're gonna set the decimation factor to eight. We're gonna turn the IF automatic gain control on. So that's gonna be orange. And now we're ready to go. So let's go ahead, hit the play button. And you can see towards the bottom, we have many signals coming in. You can see below the 
amateur radio band and above. And um, let's go and uh, start receiving some things. Um, but if you're not familiar with STR Angel, this uh, little control panel right here, you can change the display. If you want to change the order of the scope and spectrum, you can do that. You want to turn just one off or on. You can do a peak hold. So you could play around with these functions. You could turn this grid off if you don't want that. You could change the brightness almost like an oscilloscope. So uh, go ahead. You know, there's, there's all sorts of fun uh, functionality, again, depending on what you would like to do. So I'm going to set it like this because that's how I like it. You could also drag these down if you want to have it even out. So I'm going to set it like that. And now what's most important is how do you actually receive? SDR Angel is a bit different than other software-defined programs. So you have to set a demodulator, and this is called a channel. So you go up, you click the little button, and you might need to move some things around to get your screen to look like mine, which is easy. You could just click into it and hold and, and drag things around like that. It's very easy. So I'm going to dock it like that because this is how I like to have it set up. So let's go ahead and click channel. First, we're going to find the sideband demodulator. Open that. And our first hunt, we're going to go look for a Morse code. So let's change it to lower sideband. And let's turn the gain control there. So there we go. Now, let's unmute it. You can hit this button to mute. So what we're going to do is the center of our receiver is set to 3.6 megahertz exactly. And you can see that little stripe every time you mouse down. You can see where it's centered. This display over here is the offset. And so if we want to tune to multiple things, we can do that here. And so as I use my mouse, you can see right underneath, I'm moving the frequency down. So I want to find some Morse code. So let's, let's park it right here at 3.533. And we'll unmute it. And we have Morse code. Uh, if you want to change the bandwidth down and the cut filter, you can fine tune it in. A little too tight. Let's do it a little bit better. Sorry about that. Nice and tight though. Let's tune it in a little bit better. All right, there we go. There's Morse code. So we're just going to hit and pause there, mute it. All right, now what you can do, you can actually run multiple demodulators at the same time. So now let's go, let's add another one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to change it to lower sideband. We're going to unmute it. Gonna turn the game control, and now let's go and find a voice signal. So let's go up here. All right. So there's some voice. We'll go ahead and click this button over here again. That looks like. Yeah, there we go. So now you hear the Morse code going in the background. Maybe we'll move that around a little bit. All right. So now you can hear that we're doing two different signals. You could even change it if you want it to come out of different speakers. Flip it around like that. So you should be hearing CW coming out of one speaker if you have stereo and voice coming out of the other. All right. So let's go ahead and mute those. Now let's add another one. Now you don't have to do just the same mode. You can do multiple modes. So if we go up here, we'll find AMD modulator. Open that. And we're going to tune this one down below the amateur radio band. I could see a spectrum 
uh, radar just scanned across. That was pretty cool. All right, so let's move it down. You can see my tuner going. So let's go down to, let's go to 3.330. Uh, CHU Canada is their uh, time interval signal. So let's take this squelch off so you can hear that. So now we're having time. We're hearing some folks chatting. And then lastly, where'd Morse code folks go? There we go. So hopefully this gives you an idea. You can tune multiple nodes on multiple frequencies at the same time. And I'll leave that up to you to decide if that's useful or not.